Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you three broken strategies on Mal de Toten. One is to get to round 100 ridiculously fast. The second one is how to get to round 100 very safe. Uh, and I'm talking like ridiculously safe as well. And then the third one is how to get headshots really easy on this map if you are going for camos or just to level up your gun in general. Um, so also I will mention other things that are just completely broken on this map. And that will probably be fixed. And so you might as well exploit now whilst you can. So first of all, with all three of these strategies, I recommend using the Ring of Fire and get it to tier 5, of course. So now I'm going to show you the first broken strategy that you can use to get to high rounds super fast. So basically, when you enter the power room, you want to enter it from this door and make sure you never open this door. That way, you have this whole space to camp and the zombies only spawn from this window here, this window here, and down there, there's like a little hole as well. And so basically, what I do is whenever I get the Ring of Fire, I make sure I put it quite far up around here so then I can shoot the zombies before they even get into the map basically which will make the rounds go way way quicker um, and so seeing that it is only round 43 at the moment you can get away with the strategy without having to use the war machine or the Gersha you might as well have it on you but once we get to the, um, the high rounds let's say 55 plus so you got some sprinter zombies and the zombies health is increased a lot you will be needing to implement the war machine every single time the ring of fire runs out but for the first 42 43 rounds you can pretty much just use the uh cerberus or the crbr whatever you want to call it and just get away with it you see that i didn't put the ring of fire close enough to here but still worked pretty well and uh just shoot at the three windows and i'm pretty sure this round's nearly over that was the end of the round. So I literally started talking at the start of that round. I think that was about 40 seconds, maybe 30. I have no idea. But incredibly quick, as you saw. So now I'm going to show you the strategy once we get to round 55, because it changes a lot. And this, at the moment, is the fastest strategy. I'm not going to lie. My first game, I was lucky. And I opened this door here. And I saw this. And I was like, oh. So I don't want to give props to myself. But I think I may have invented the spot. <laughs> So that's kind of that's kind of cool on our first round 100. Okay, so I'm on round 60 now. Zombies health is max and also every single zombie should be super sprinting. So this is basically the hardest the game's ever going to get. And so I'll show you how easy and just kind of broken the strategy is at round 60 and also what you need to actually do because it is a little bit different to to like the first 42 rounds like I said. So once your ring of fire runs out you want to use the war machine. Now, the war machine is busted, man. In this, On this map, it's a one-shot kill. It was in the game at the moment, it's a one-shot kill. You want to use it quite a lot, and then you get your ring of fire back. Now, if you do run out of war machine bullets after um, the ring of fire runs out, just throw a Gersh. Gersha down? I forgot the name of it, damn. Throw a Gersha down, and then that will also give you back the ring of fire. And while the Gersh is down, you can also get another war machine and another Gersha. And so as you can see right now, if you are struggling this, you can put the Ring of Fire a little bit further back. So ring, ring ran out. We've still got five shots. Now you will not run out of um, salvage doing the strategy unless you suck at the game. I don't know. <laughs> so you can use as many War Machine shots as possible as long as you're using the Ring of Fire with the uh, CBR. So CRBR. This strategy is, I don't know how you could fail it. I'm not trying to be a dickhead in saying that, but this one's really, the next one I'm about to show you is like, impossible to fail okay guys so for this second strategy you do need to actually do a bit of the easter egg and that's what makes it so easy you need to get up to the step where you kill the tempest and then you unlock a canister and then we're going to actually exploit that canister as our field upgrade so first of all you need to get the three parts for class and open that door because the door where the safe is is also where we're going to be camping so i'll show you guys in a second Alright, so Brain Rider the zombie, he's going to open the door that we're going to camp in. So, eventually we will camp here with the field upgrade. So, let's just get to there first. I need to grab this part, so that's number two. Okay, to be cheap, killing the Panzer, I'm going to use a war machine. And you can actually open this door for this for this challenge. For this strategy, sorry. And so, i got the last piece. Now, I need to go to Klaus. Seventeen. Fourteen. Thirty-seven. Alright, got the wonder weapon. So we're gonna put Klaus right there. It's gonna knock the wall down, and then we just need the blazer mod for the wonder weapon. 
Okay, so I finally got the blazer mod. Now I just need to open this room up. And then we need to spend one torment around down the bottom here. And then this will all open up. Okay, so we grab one of the canisters. And then we find the, the lure. And then all we have to do is kill the tempest, grab the canister. And then we use and we exploit the field upgrade of the canister. So I found one over here. We chuck it in and then we press Q. For me, Q anyway. Now Tempest will spawn out. We're just going to kill three of them, I think. Whoop. Oh, no. Oh, my. <laughs> Round 16 with a wonder weapon. Struggles, man. And then one more Tempest. I think. Take him out. Oh, no, it's done. So now... So the thing about this is you won't be able to sprint, but <laughs> you have that, and I think every five kills you get it back. So that's three, four, five, and then you get it back. So that's super overpowered. Let me pack punch this gun twice, get into the spot, and show you guys how good this thing is. Now this is a very, very new strategy. Uh, the MC Zombie Slayer actually found it, so I have a link in the description of his YouTube channel and his Twitch channel if you guys want to support him. I would not have this strategy if I did not see it, him streaming it. And so, check out his channel, guys. Okay, so the strat is, you just want to stand here. And basically, you can do this forever. But just, look how many zombie canister kills I just got, guys. That was like, 15. So, you want to kill enough zombies to get it back. And then once they jump out, there's like another 10 kills. It's cool. So basically, you just sit here, and with tier 5 mule kick, make sure you do have that. <laughs> because it is legendary. You can refill your ammo. You'll get way more ammo, and that was a quick round. What I am doing now, if you look at how many kills I'm getting, it's quite ridiculous. So, take 5 shots to recharge a canister. Look how many kills I'm getting with 1 shot of that canister after 5 kills of recharging it. And you get the canister from the, uh, an easter egg step the tempest one okay so we're on round 60 zombies health is capped and they're all sprinting they're all super sprinters now so let's see how good this strategy is so far getting to round 60 has been completely broken hasn't taken us long at all okay. oh well this is a bad start i kind of wanted to show the strategy but once they come in it'll be good oh wait i dropped the canister so don't crouch otherwise you'll drop it or D-pad, I think, on the controller. Let's get a few kills here. And then wait for them to come in a little bit. And then canister. And then we get like 20 kills, it literally seems like. I swear. And then wait for a few zombies to come through here. I think there's a mangler around that corner. Oh, I actually might go... What the... Alright, well that was our first down. So maybe... Wait, what? Uh, how funny is that? This is literally like the easiest strategy ever. But I think the Tormentors will glitch because they weren't spawning in. Oh my god. Yeah, there's something going on. There's so many Manglers in or something, I swear. I think the Manglers were blocking because normally Tormentors like kind of feed through into the room. So you just like casually kill them all the time. But okay, let's see what's happening now. So we've already got it back. We're going to hit it now. Get our free 20 kills. And then I'm going to get it back in like 5 seconds. Then boom, <laughs> our free 20 kills again. Yeah, see, now we've got some tormentors feeding through that room. I don't know what happened then. Maybe because I grabbed the nuke. Kill all them. And it glitched and I got it back for some weird reason. Put it down. So it seems that the first 60 rounds is literally impossible to go down. But once you get up to round 60, you start to have a chance to actually go down. Wow, that was a bloody quick round. I'll do one more round, because that was just so quick. So even, like, during the midway break of the round, Tormentors will still spawn in. Do that. I'm going to grab the ammo quickly. Just need to kill five zombies. One, two, three. And they're all dead. The game is a little bit more laggy as well at the higher rounds. Unless it's my PC. Got it back. Get all those free kills. 
At this point, whenever you get it back, you just explode it because the zombies spawn in so much. It killed the panzer like insta. Easy. I'm gonna get it back now. Yeah, there's like a bit of a delay from me like actually getting the food upgrade. So round 60 is a bit of a change with the strat. It's no longer absolutely broken, it's just a little bit broken. Right there. I'm just gonna run out of ammo if I'm not careful. Get back. Canister. Fog, and this should probably be the end of the round really soon. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> what a quick round, man. Wait, we can exfil quickly. I'm going to drop this. I'm currently on round 40, and I'm going to show you the final strategy on how to get... to level up your weapons and also get critical kills super fast on this map. So, I will say straight away, Warden's... Uh, Warden's Room on 5AZ is faster than this and definitely better. But seeing that 5AZ was out for so long, and I'm sure a lot of you guys don't really want to keep playing that, I find this is definitely the better alternative. And so, it's basically the same strat as the first. The first strategy, leave this door closed and you camp down here. So it is currently around 40, so the zombie's health is going to be a lot higher. Um, but the plan is, as soon as, you, as soon as you get into a game, get Pack-a-Punch, come straight down here, and the rounds will go super quick. I forgot I'm actually going to die. What a shocking tutorial. <laughs> Okay, but once you get the Ring of Fire, kind of chill here. But yeah, as I was saying, you get Pack Punched and you run straight down here. And for the first 40 rounds, it is going to be super simple down here. And then once you get maybe to like round 40 or so, it will get a lot harder. So I currently have Cryo Freeze on as well because I'm going for headshots. But if I wasn't going for headshots and you're mainly, you're going for headshots, but also going for other... We're just leveling up your gun as fast as possible as well. I would definitely recommend Shadow Blast. It is the best ammo mod at the moment, and I'll show you guys in a second. We'll get you like round 50, and I'll show you the strategy. Okay, so if you are struggling in the power room to get headshots or to just level up your gun in general, or you're on a high round, or maybe you even just want to go to round 100 just with your weapon, um, here is a really overpowered strategy that you can use. Um, and it's going to involve Shadow Blast because it's one of the most broken things right now. And a big, big tip, and I've said this I think before, is that it seems like most explo- look at that. Most explosive weapons are just ridiculously- they're either one shot or close to one shot. I think only uh, grenades, sticky grenades can sometimes be two shot. I'm not too sure. But the grenades seem to be buggy, or explosives, and obviously Shadow Blast is kind of like an explosive thing. Also, it does extra damage to the, the panzers. And so what you want to do is basically get one pile of zombies, kill them all with Shadow Blast, and then run to that corner over there, and you can get all these headshots by just sitting in the corner. This is round 50, by the way. And you can do this with pretty much every weapon, I'm pretty sure, because most weapon, well, I'd say all assault rifles, SMGs, LMGs, they'd all be, you know, good enough to do this because, to be fair, none, no guns are really that much worse than others on this game. But you can see that I didn't quite get the Ring of Fire, but here we are. And then we just continue the strategy. So if you guys do want to go for high rounds or the weapons room is struggling, I am kind of missing my headshots right now. But again, like I said, Maldatone is not the best for headshots. Um, so Warden's Room would be better, but I know some of you guys get really bored. Um, this is definitely the least broken strategy, except for the fact that Shadow Blast is broken. I mean, if you do want to go pass rounds really quick as well, and then just get your Ring of Fire so you can get the headshots quicker, you can just shoot the War Machine once, kill all the zombies, because, again, that's another broken part of this game right now. The War Machine is just god tier, or pick up a C4 right there and then you got ring of fire as well and then you can continue on getting your headshots